The idea of a block is pretty simple, and simply by the name, you have some idea of what it is. On the left-hand side, we have a search box here, and you see a wrapper around it. This looks like a block, and it is a block. And if you look here at the navigation, this looks like a block as well, and it's a block too. And as we hover over it, we get a cogwheel in the upper right-hand corner, just like we did with views, and we can click it in order to configure the block. The main content on the page here is also a block, though there's not the same editing options for this particular block. So let's go ahead and make sure that our blocks are in the right positions on the page. And let's also, in the process, move this menu up here. We can go to the Blocks Administration page by going to Structure in the Admin Toolbar, and then clicking Blocks. And note it says configure what block content appears on your site's sidebars and other regions. Let's go ahead and click this. One important part of understanding blocks is understanding the idea of regions. And we can see what regions exist on our page by clicking this Demonstrate Block Regions link right here. And notice that it says Bartik, so we're looking at our front-end theme, not our administration theme. I'm going to go ahead and click it. And you see a preview of our home page. And in yellow are placeholders inside of the various regions of the page. So this is the header. This is the featured region. Note that it's got a gray background. We have our sidebar first on the left-hand side, our sidebar second on the right-hand side, highlighted above the content. And as we scroll down, we'll see additional regions here. We have help, which appears below the title, but above the content. We have content. We have triptych first, middle, and last. And triptych simply means in threes. So there's three of them here. And then there's several columns for the footer, and then the footer itself. So these are all regions where blocks can reside. And if we go back to the configuration by clicking on this exit block region demonstration link in the upper left hand corner, we'll see an interface where we can drag and drop blocks between these different regions. So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit here. And in this table, we see three columns, block, region, and operations. And in bold, above the sets of blocks are the region names. So here's header, help, and highlighted. Here's featured, content, and sidebar first. And we'll see the rest of the regions as we scroll down. If there's no blocks in a region, then this no blocks in this region text appears. But if there is, then it will appear as a list that can be sorted. Remember from previous user interfaces that this cross here allows us to drag and drop. And we can not only drag and drop this within a region, we can drag it to other regions as well. When we move a block, we get a notice at the top that says the changes to these blocks will not be saved until the Save Blocks button is clicked. So we can play around here, and as long as we don't hit the Save button, we can revert back to the previous state. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that there for now. You can also change the region by going to this Region drop-down box here underneath the Region column, clicking it, and selecting the region you want it to display in. I'm going to scroll down so we can see what blocks are enabled where. So we have our main content block that's showing up in the content region. And this is where our content displays. On our home page, which is a node, a piece of basic page content, that displays within the content region. And so does our view for our calendar page. Every place where there's content on a page displays in this region. In our sidebar first column, we have our search form, navigation, and user login. So you may remember when we were just looking at our blocks that we saw the search form and the navigation in the left-hand sidebar. And what we want to do is move it to the right-hand sidebar. We didn't see the user login because we're already logged in, but if we viewed the site as an anonymous user or a non-logged in user, then we would see this block.